Bonjour à tous, c'est Fatia Tutunjian, coming to you from Paris, France. Specifically, I'm in the Seine River. You can see Eiffel Tower right behind me. This will be a quick short video to, to do a little guide of the things you can do if you have like a half a day oh, in France or in Paris specifically, sorry. So this is called the Bateau Parisien. We're waving at people sitting on the other side. Um, I will check how long this ride was specifically one hour we're gonna be in a one hour ride we're gonna go through all the bridges and there's actually a cool touch that there is a qr code that you can scan while you're in the bateau and get some guidance and i think they're gonna be doing announcements when we're passing through specific things we're under the bridge make a wish and also the other thing i wanted to mention is that this is 19 euros so it's a pretty affordable way to kind of get around see all the uh, monuments the main monuments around paris and i will include the link in the description for you guys to see the place where we board this is right in front of the eiffel tower so which will keep us in the center so let's see what views we have here It's actually a pretty large boat, uh, about 600 people can fit on it. So if you're coming here with a large group, no worries, you, you, they'll have enough place. Another thing that makes this um, tour very convenient is that you don't have to reserve um, in advance so you can either buy tickets online or on the spot so when you arrive if you're not sure exactly when you're going to get here when you arrive you can just buy the tickets from your phone or on the spot and get it. Here we have the building of the parliament. Plein de musées en 1986 de musée d'accès est consacré à l'art de l'impressionnisme. On your right, the former railway station of Orsay was the railway in 1900 for the main of exhibition. And here we have a bateau bus, which is basically like a public transport. So if you just want to get on a boat and uh, hop on and hop off, this is a nice way to do it and it's only about 2 euros. So same price as the regular transport. Here we have Musée d'Orsay. Apparently I think they have a Van Gogh exhibition. And on the other side is Louvre. Apparently it's a thing to wave at uh, everyone when you're on these boats, so this is fun. Um, I'm, it, the audio that they're doing to explain what the bridges are, it's in uh, French, Spanish and English, but it's very hard to understand. So if you're interested in hearing all the details, definitely make sure to bring some headsets and connect to the UR code uh, to understand. And back to Louvre. On your left is the Louvre, the first castle of Peru was built here in the 12th century. 
as a fortress to defend Paris from invasions. En el siglo XIV se convirtió en la residencia principal de los reyes franceses durante siglos de... I actually did not know that the Louvre apparently used to be a castle in the 14th century that was built and the king used to live in it, so it makes sense. It makes sense that it wasn't just built as a museum, but something I never thought of looking up, so this was fun fact to find out here. So here behind me there is the island of Paris which is where Paris was initially founded 2,000 years ago so this is kind of like the oldest part of Paris and this bridge that you see um, from what I understood correct me if I'm wrong in the comments uh, I believe this is the oldest bridge uh, and it's 200 years old but it seems very new 200 so let me know in the comments if you know this part I didn't catch it from the guy 400 I'm hearing rumors that he said 400 so let me know uh, going higher, 400, 400 going once. Okay, too much sun. This is a cute boat. Please feel free to wave through the screen to people. Also, even though it's a very, very hot day, um, being on top here, it doesn't feel that hot because there's like wind coming in, so it feels cool going under the oldest bridge that we don't know how long, how old it is. I can't touch it. Oh, and we're approaching Notre Dame. As you saw right behind us is the Notre Dame de Paris. Um, it's still under renovation from the fire that was in 2019. Um, so hopefully, I've never been inside, hopefully it will be renovated soon and it will be back open to the public and we can actually go inside it. So this is the end of the island on this side. The Dutch Persian family set alone the new island and built many mansions which still make the charm of the island. There are different type of dances happening. This is the City Hall of Paris and it was built in the 14th century. There was a fire here, but they rebuilt it exactly the same way that it was. So it looks the same as it did in the 14th century. So right here behind us is the Conciergerie, which during the French Revolution, it was used uh, where they kept uh, Marie Antoinette as a prisoner. Uh, and then they took her somewhere close by, I think, with the horses. Yeah. With the Eiffel Tower behind me, this cruise cruise ride is coming to an end. So guess what I will be doing the next...
do next, <laughs> what I'll be doing next. We'll be going up the Eiffel Tower. Let's go. This ends, uh, so it starts and ends at the same point, same point, which is right next to the Eiffel Tower. So this makes, uh, it saves you so much time because in Paris, if even if you want to visit a few landmarks, even though they all look like they're close to each other, it takes a lot of time to get from one to the next. So this is a cool way to do both things. It's time to go up the Eiffel Tower. So here's what we decided to do. Here are the prices. So it's cheaper if you don't take the elevator and you just go with the stairs. Uh, but what we want to do is this one, which means that we will climb to the second floor with the stairs, do some workout, probably regret it, and then we're going to get on an elevator all the way to the top. So let's see how this goes. And it begins, there is no turning back now. So to get to the second floor, it's like climbing up 35 uh, flights of stairs, like 35 floors. floors. Oh, this is not off to a good start. Let's go. The scenery is a little bit different here. I feel like I'm in an abandoned building and other people are taking the proper elevator to go up like normal people. But I still haven't regret. Premier etage. We arrived to the first floor. First, I think there's a restaurant here. It's not something we're gonna be doing. We will continue walking up to the Oh, there's good scenes here. Let's see. There's a road name here. Okay. We can call an Uber maybe to pick us up. I want to check out the restaurant even if we're not going in. And maybe see if they have waters of bottle. It's like a, an outdoor airport or something here. Wow, they have drinks. There's like a proper bar. This is cool. And here on the other side. Whoa, this is so cool. There's the bistro. And here there is Madame Brasserie. Honestly, for a second, I forgot we're inside the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Look, like people are just casually chilling, having wine, eating. And in case you want to get an idea of the prices, In summary, it's expensive. But we might get a cold drink just before we keep going up uh, since we made it halfway to celebrate. <laughs> Cheers from the first floor of the Eiffel Tower. Just to give you a quick idea of the prices. This, it's like a frozen sugar, is six euros. Okay, it's actually good. Okay, and I feel like this was needed. Now we continue to the second floor. Oh, there's some sort of an engine thing here. I don't know what it is. I didn't read. Let me show you. Oh, it's windy. This is where we were. That's where we're going. We made it to the second floor. After here, we're taking an elevator. Let's go check it out.
the obelisk there is the original Red River Golf Concourse where we're going to be taken in the city of Paris. And the reason is where these kind of laws executed or executed on the festival. From what I understood, oh, there it is. There's another gift shop here. In case you didn't go broke on the first floor, they give you another opportunity. And I think there's like washroom and whatnot. So if you need that information, I don't know if the washroom's paid, but knowing Eiffel Tower, it's probably like 20 euros to go to the washroom. That's where we were earlier with the boat. Over there, we can see Montmartre, Sacre Coeur. So now we're getting in the line for um, the elevator to the top. It's actually not that bad. None of the um, lineups to get tickets and stuff have beautiful hair. Uh, have, like there haven't been as bad as I would have thought that they would be. So this is good. We made it. I'm not gonna lie, I got a tiny bit scared in the elevator. I don't know why. There were too many people, claustrophobic, scared of heights. But now we're here, I'm gonna try to enjoy it. There's all glass here. And then I think there's one more floor we can go up where maybe we can see a bit more. They have some things on the wall. Let me see if I can read anything. I have a question. Is anyone monitoring monitor, monitor, monitoring the, the the amount of people? Oh, there's champagne here. They're selling champagne. How many <clears throat> how many people are coming up and the weight and like how many people are allowed to come up? This is a legitimate question that I have right now. Expectations versus reality. Yeah. Eiffel Tower. I can't believe they're selling bottles of champagne here. So like now people will just take bottles and like hang out here. Okay, this is a nice view. Oh, I forgot to show you the nice view. So here's my thoughts. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. My thoughts are it's not worth coming up all the way it's like really crowded and it's the same view so i think just go on the second floor and the first floor chill a little bit second floor then go back down and that's it with that being said thank you so much for watching watching i'll see you guys in suppers bye